hundred times as much, you spread your legs. Just drive the car, will you? See, now, I got me a chance to learn something, Colonel. I mean, as long as I got a chauffeur the little strumpet, you don't mind if a country boy picks up a little education, do you? <laughs> I got, I got this here buddy. He had the idea one time we had opened up a string of whorehouses and advertised them like them fried chicken places. The finger licking good. <laughs> <laughs> How's it work with your kind? You go to some kind of special school or something? I have a BA from Finch College. Is that where you learned how to give head? You shut up for Christ's sake. Hey now, Colonel, you come to the Strumpets Rescue. I bet you had some ideas to get some gas yourself. Maybe you already had a taste of it, huh? Ain't nothing like a slice of a damn business. <laughs> you can't fool on me. I seem to zip in your fly, you Will you shut up? It's all right. Let him talk. You going to shoot a fellow officer, Colonel? What do you tell him back home that I was insulting your whore? <laughs> Like you done lost your hero, boy. I can take care of myself. Yeah, I bet you can, Dad. Well, that's just me and you have a little talk, huh? Hey, come on, talk to me. I, I want to know what it's like being a whore. Actually, I always thought it was rather like being a cop. You did? <laughs> Like being on the take at two dozen bars in downtown Vegas, taking money from some politician each time you peel his drunken kid's Cadillac off the telephone pole, strong arming the Chicanos in the barrio on Saturday night, busting kids for smoking grass, then taking a kickback from the heroin dealers, or those occasions when you do bust a bushel and skim the hall when you've made the collar, so what you skim to your dope addict buddies on the floor. <laughs> She's your own all-out chicks, ain't she? As I see it, the only difference between you and me is that when I quit work, I take a long, hot bath. And I'm as clean as the day I was born. But a cop, especially a flunky like you, when the sheriff whistles, you squat. And when he does to rot your brain, no amount of water on earth can get you clean again. You want to sit there and take that kind of crap? You were the one who wanted to talk. Your brain, and I'm afraid the only way you'll ever clean it out is to put a bullet through it. But does your wife know you masturbate? <laughs>